All right, man. So going right back to it, man. Um, you were just talking about the first time that you know you looked at your account, you were nursing, and you saw fifteen grand, bro. Tell us about that feeling, man. So we we were already doing the fact the tax deed flips, right? And uh, this is something that a lot of people won't tell you. You you can make a lot of money in your industry, right? You, you that by default you can make a lot of money whatever you're doing. But whenever you uh, create a course, you have potential to make even more money because you can scale it. Mm. Right, you can scale it to a, a, a much larger number. For me to do deals, I have to find a deal, I have to work the deal, rehab the deal, flip it, blah blah blah, or X Y Z. That takes time. I could literally get on the right platform, get on somebody's page, have somebody give me a shout out or something, and sell sell my course at two thousand dollars to a thousand people. Right, right, right. That, by that's a lot of money. Right? <laughs> yeah, and all right. I had to do was show up one time mm. to make that amount of money. So. What, in, in digital anything, we we always talk about how to make money. The best way to make money is to put in the work on the front end and get paid forever. That ebook, mm. I wrote an ebook. I don't have to write an ebook again, right? That ebook will forever make me money. You right. put the time in in the beginning, and then watch the money come in. So that's what we did with the. Um, I was I was still a nurse when I was doing this. I had COVID. I was stuck at home for like a week or two. So I was like, man, I need to do something. I, I'm gonna write my ebook. I wrote my ebook, man. And then come back to nursing. Then we had this whole mentorship. And this is where the mentorship was a uh, key that I didn't have a mentor yet. So I paid. I paid somebody like, hey, bro, show me what I need to know. Right. Stuff I wasn't even thinking about. OK, you're going to do this. You're going to get your course. You're going to do your modules like this. Mm. You're going to trademark this because people are going to try to steal this. You copyright that. But like stuff I was not even yeah, thinking you don't about. Even think about. Yeah. And then so even the course, I didn't know how to set up a course, man. I didn't know I could have a, a whole <laughs> online curriculum. So set that stuff up, man. I'm sitting at the nurse's station, and I, and I uh, check my bank account. <laughs> I, don't ask me why I was at work checking my bank account. Nice. <laughs> we all been yeah. there, though. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like, oh, shit, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that shit hit yet? <laughs> I, I made a post, man, and this, and this goes into marketing. I found an awesome group full of other nurses that that want to you know, be great, posted in there, mm. checked my account, bro. I had 15 grand in there, and I was like, 15 grand? I was like, man, how much money did I make this weekend from nursing? And I was like, wait a minute. Matter of fact, how much am I making this entire month from nursing? And I was like, it wasn't even 15 grand. Calculated. How many months did I have to work as a nurse to make 15 grand? Bro, it was like four or five months. Oh, right. And I was right. like, I just hey, after did taxes? That. Yeah. I just did that in a weekend. Right. I was like, I'm out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm no, out. Yeah. Say less. Bro, I'm that, out, bro. That's the sign that we all wait for. It's like yeah. as soon as you see that sign, you're like, yo, this is it. This is it, bro. bro I that's remember, amazing, though. I remember leaving my job, bro. <laughs> I had him come pick me up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my boy's like, my boy's like, for real, you leaving, man? I was like, bro, I'm out of here, bro. For real. I called him. I was like, bro, come pick me up right now. Nah, I got too much real. money to make right now. You know what I mean? And uh, I did the math, too. I was like, bro. I'm out of here, bro. I can't. I can't do this crap anymore, bro. Like it just doesn't make sense. You know, my time is so important to me too. You know, you look mm -hmm. at the time versus how much you made and how much time you wasted from you know not being around your family. You know, that's that all adds up, and you start thinking about it. You're like, bro, nah, I can't do this shit no more, bro. I agree. I, can't, I agree. You gotta know. You gotta know yourself, man. That was another thing. Like that job, bro. It was a construction job, and it was like it was just <laughs> like, bro, we're not built for this. Let's we're be not. real. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what's meant for you. You know what I mean? Like you know, you just know. And mm -hmm. then if you're working too much, man, you don't. They don't know, right? Yeah. Like, you gotta think how much. So if you're not working a full-time job, it's the little things like sitting on your couch just thinking. If you're working for somebody else, making somebody else millions, what time do you even have to think about your future you. goals? You know mm, what I mean? Yeah. By the time you come on, your brain is so fatigued, you you just want to go to bed, right? You want to go real. watch some TV or something, man. And then we live in an age right now where life just looks so perfect because we just see all the good stuff even even on my ig you know what i mean mm -hmm. we tend to post just the good stuff and i'm right. trying to i'm trying to show more of the struggles like hey look what these tenants did to my house like mm -hmm. hey look we started this turo business and turo just was not making enough money like we we canceled that right yeah but people only tend to see like oh my students are getting houses oh we're getting houses oh we're mm -hmm. doing airbnbs yeah. but but bro, you go through so much yeah. on a daily basis. But that's what's important to understand that life isn't perfect. Marriages aren't perfect. We watch all these movies. So now we have women that expect this awesome romantic notebook 
relationship mm-hmm. is every relationship. I love that movie. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, made me cry. But I think that's one of the uh, biggest reasons why you know, look today. Everybody's depressed, man. Yeah, everybody's I agree. Depressed. Like, why yeah. are you depressed? Because we just see so much. If we didn't have phones, man, we wouldn't be seeing all these other couples in the in the mm-hmm. first place. Yeah, it's right? not real, we'll man. Running yeah. our own business, focusing on ourselves and our family, yeah. and I that's agree. really what you need to do. And you, you said Turo, man. He was thinking about doing that. Yeah, too, man. I was Camaro. thinking about doing the Turo thing, bro. And I just, I never got around to do it. But one of the reasons is because I don't know anybody personally that's been successful at it. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> like, it's one of those things where it's like, if I know a few people, I was like, oh, they did it and it worked out, whatever. Like, it's different than if it's like, I don't know a single person. Like, like you said, the mentor thing. I don't have a mentor for that. I don't, I wouldn't know, you know, like just starting it would probably be you know, be the best. But I feel like if you don't have enough information in the field you're going into, bro, it probably it's probably better to just hold off. It, you know what it I mean? wasn't making enough money. Uh, so we, <laughs> we had this Real charger. Time. We got this charger and uh, it was paid off. Right. And then but people, when they get a charger, what do they want to do to that shit? Bro, they were pushing it, man. Bro. So a couple of times they overheated. Uh, not sure what they were doing with it. So <laughs> like really, it only did a few trips. And then it, it just really wasn't that much money, man. Like yeah. we're, we're like, you know what? We're letting this business go, which which happens, man. It, it right. happens. I've had so many businesses. And then we finally, you know, finally the last few just took off. But uh, no, it just it wasn't worth it. it right. Was, I'd rather right. get an Airbnb arbitrage go go find a landlord that's okay with you renting their property mm-hmm. and, and 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 put it on airbnb and then i'm telling you you're gonna make way more money from that mm-hmm. than 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 a, a car on Turo. to to really kill the Turo game you need multiple cars yeah. and you need probably some luxury cars to where yes. you're making enough a day to where it makes sense or it's like right. 500 a day for like the porsche or something like that right. i've seen that yeah. right yeah because yeah. yeah. i was looking at some and i was like wow 300 a day and then you got to look at all the extra fees that they put onto it mm-hmm. um i've seen that like for like airbnbs with like the cleaning fee and all that mm-hmm. stuff like how does that work do you hire somebody that that comes in and, and does it or do you just go in yourself man i'm gonna put you on game right now okay, so uh when you have your airbnb listing there's an app called turnover bnb where there's a there's a bunch of cleaners there so as your guests are leaving, like it shows when what days your guests check out, the cleaners are bidding on on who can come clean that property and for what price. I, I didn't know so that. So it's like on autopilot. Like That's we cool. Literally, and we have a team of cleaners now from the app, wow. like three or four different cleaning services. So they're booking whoever books first. They get the contract or whatever, and they'll they'll be the ones that come come and clean. Man, wow. that makes sense. See, I never knew that. Yeah, bro. And outsourcing outsourcing is is crazy, man. Like Auto-pilot. that's what most most successful people do bro it's like they do what they do best and they delegate the rest it's like this is what i'm doing you take care of that you take care of that you take care of that and success, at the end of the day man it's an oiled machine and you know, everything's running that's something i had to learn personally man especially running a business and doing this podcast i thought i could do everything right you know i really did you know and i had to put my pride to the side and be like yo bro like he's told me he's told me like there was months before like he's like man we need an editor bro yeah for months i was, I was like bro we need bro, somebody to edit I, I dog. Edited, like, we do good but we need an editor bro like yeah like out of the seven like out of the 200 i edited 75 and it was just too much and after that i was like man like i had to cut clips that's why mm-hmm. we're able to post so much because you know we have the editor, and then he just sends us the clips. Yeah, that, shout out to Harry, man. Yeah, and, 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 and now you, and now that it just it just makes sense, you know. Now we have more time to do other things for the business. Exactly, you know? and that was my main my main thing to him from the beginning. I was like, bro, like, like if we want to grow this and we want to we want to be able to you know grow other businesses and do what we got to do on the side, bro, we got to have the time. Yeah, we can't sit here twenty hours a week editing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could pay somebody real quick. That's 20 hours. Imagine what we could do in that 20 hours. You know what I mean? Like You got your system. So I, the key to success, uh, create a system, right? Typically, you want a system to solve a problem. Uh, that's that's the most wealthiest people in, in this world have just solved problems, right? Right. Uh, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, right? Solve a problem and then automate that system. So mm. get a system, automate it. You create your time because y'all are visionaries, right? That's, that's all you should be doing right. is showing up interviewing people like you already got the idea you got the youtube you know you yeah. you show up that's literally and, and that was hard for me to learn because i was really good at social media it was hard for me to give that to somebody else yeah for the they, marketing they right? could exactly. do it as well as i could yeah that's how and i they, felt and they surprised me man like they know what times to post they know when not to post. what hashtags do you like yeah. it's diff- it's a and that's what i tell him that's yeah. the next step we need we need somebody for market for like our social medias and we, stuff because yeah. there's a science to it yeah. like these guys study this they go to like some people go 
to school for marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like that's how they they end up working for Coca Cola and these companies, and they make millions because they know how to market to people. They know what's going to make people click, and you it's know, not, it's just a science. That was the next step too. That we got we got into marketing as well. We started investing in marketing and 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 promotion. You know, mm-hmm. and right. and our views, and a lot more people started to 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 come in, like the flow and. It's important. I didn't realize mm-hmm. how important that was. Like, you know, in, in the beginning, I was like, man, I, I could do this myself. I could just share it to everybody in, in our city. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and, it'll and blow every, up organically. It'll, it'll blow up organically. Like, <laughs> it's like, and, bro, and, and sometimes it happens. Sometimes, it does. It does you know? happen sometimes. But, like, let's be real. Like, most of these companies are marketing. They're, they're, they're promoting it's, it's themselves. So they're paying. money, man. It, I spend, man, I spend by, like, 10K a month right now on on ad spend, like mm-hmm. on, on everything total, I won't say just ad spend, but like literally for Instagram, my marketing, my my editors alone who are clipping everything and posting for me is two thousand a month. Yeah, because because we still have to shoot footage too, so they come with me for the day, blah blah blah. So that's two thousand. My YouTube man, like five k on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we not to mention Facebook ads because omnipresence. Like people need right. to see you. And, and you have to sustain that, man. Like, people, how fast do you forget about people, bro? Quick, so you man. have to sustain. This isn't any, something you can just put it in for one month. This is something that, that 10K a month, I need to be able to sustain that for two years yeah. or something before yeah. I'm finally where I probably really need to be. Like, now I see people looking at me like they notice me. But they're like, man, he looks familiar, right? That's that's what I'm getting right now. Right. Like, that's looks, that that's actually happened to us, familiar, which is right? crazy. Like, oh, you're from the podcast. I'm like, yeah, it makes you feel good. Yeah. Actually, I wa- I walked in the, to LA Fitness, man. I'll never forget this. This happened recently. He's like, he's I haven't seen him in a long time, but I have him on on Instagram, and he's like, yo, bro, like. He's like, yo, what's up, man? Superstar, man. He's, and that's when our views started really bumping up. And it made me feel cool. You know what I mean? But, yeah, there's some people that I think at the barbershop, too. You yeah, yeah. It happened to me at the barbershop. It's you crazy. Know? Like, I was just sitting there getting a cut. They're cracking jokes. And homeboy looked at me like, hey, that's some good content for the podcast. And I'm like, I don't even know. I didn't know him. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, he actually but, didn't know him. Yeah. But it's just like, I wanted to touch base on something that you touched on earlier, bro, is um, like finding something that more like a lot of people aren't doing. Like how you said, you're like, hey, man, I didn't see a lot of people talking about tax deeds. You know what I mean? Like, you got to find something that there isn't a lot of competition. Yeah. In, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, like, really go into it and, and get your piece of the pie. You know what I mean? Like, it's that's interesting to me because, like you said, bro, Jeff Bezos, all these guys, that's what they did. They saw a problem. They're like, hey, I could... I could, you know, give them a solution, whether it's electric cars, iPhones, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you know, and I've always heard that if you create something or a service, you know, that could affect a billion people, that's how you become a billionaire. Yeah. You know Even what I mean? it's only one dollar. Right. People, exactly. Yeah, Think about it. But for y'all, the, the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put everybody on game right now, Let's but do especially Let's do for it. like a new and upcoming uh, real estate agent. There's one thing important to understand. You just said it, but I want to break break down the science of it. So we have what's called red pools or blue pools, right? Mm. There's a red pool right here. There's a blue pool right here. The red pool, think about sharks being in it. It's bloody, right? There's a whole bunch of sharks. So what's a red pool? Real estate. Real estate is mm. a freaking red pool. Everybody and their grandma is in real estate. So to really be successful, you, you need to figure out a way to turn a red pool into a blue pool. Mm. What's something in real estate that not everybody's doing? Tax deeds. Bam, I just made real estate, which was a red pool, and in this blue pool, tax deed investing where no one else is. So a lot of times people think that they're going to do something better. And uh, who was it that learned this the hard way? I want to say, shoot, it it wasn't Google. It was one of these big companies, man. They they tried to outperform. um, They tried this thing, Bing. They tried to compete against Google. It Mm. was Microsoft, I think, Mm -hmm. was trying to compete against Google, and they were like, oh, we're going to do Bing. And we're gonna do it better, right? It was right. a complete fail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Com- Actually, yeah, I haven't heard of Bing in a while. It bro. was a complete <laughs> fail, right? Yeah. Because they tried to they they instead of taking it from a red pool and turning it into a blue pool, they tried to outproduce something that was already good. They you know, oh, we're just gonna do this better. Like, no, don't try to do better. Mm-hmm. Do different. Exactly. Don't just try to be better. Yeah. Be different, and be different. that's what's gonna be the real. The real key to success. Yes, right? and I feel like that's <laughs> why I wanted to go back and, and touch base on that because it's like. I feel like a lot of people need to understand that. Like when you go into a, into a market that's oversaturated and too many people are doing it, that's what's going to set you apart. What's different? What mm-hmm. what's different about your service or whatever, whatever it is that you're providing, you know, like that's going to be the real key to, you know, attracting 
the customers you want and keeping them. Keep finding your niche. Right. You, know, you got, you got right. some real estate agents, they only do commercial, right? Or they mm-hmm. only do million dollar sales or, you know, you find your niche, man. And, and your niche could be so specific as to you might only work with nurses. Yep. Or, or healthcare members, right? You you find that niche, you get your lender that specializes in that because I can tell you right now, a big problem is travel nurses getting mm. homes because they can't qualify for a loan because their their job is not a, a straight salary job. They do mm. three month contracts, so lenders don't feel comfortable giving them loans. So when you find that lender that that can do that creative type of finances that can help travel nurses, yeah. I tell you right now, those guys will kill it. Mm. I got an audience full of travel nurses that I could send that to that. Real estate agents way, you know what I mean? That is that's true. smart, bro. That that's is crazy, smart. man. Problem solving, man. Solve a problem. Yeah, and knowing the market, bro. <laughs> like just like going back to that, knowing the market and knowing like what people are looking for, what's you know what's hot, what's not. Like it all, it's just a lot of studying, really. Especially when it comes down to real estate, like you gotta you gotta study the market in the area, the county, the state. Like it's just it's so much that goes into it, but. Man, I feel like once once you learn it, bro, you just get yourself in a groove. Like you said, you just get yourself in a groove. You find your niche and you just, you, you know. You make that first check. You're like, okay, all right, bet. That's you know what, what that I has mean? to be motivated. I can't wait for yeah, my first you, real estate When you get that first <laughs> check, you're like, okay. And um, also, man, I have a question too. Like, I noticed that, like, most of your content is, is really entertaining. You know, a lot of people don't like to learn. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people don't like to learn. When they see something that's educational, they're just like... Man, nah. You know what I mean? Some yeah, people the are. attention span. You yeah. know, a lot of people, yeah. you know, the attention span nowadays is just like, it's like a fucking squirrel. Like the, <laughs> you know, like they don't want to, like, I feel like that's really, really important, you know, to, to have content that's actually entertaining and also educational at the same time. Like, mm. um, my question to you is like, how do you, how do you attract the audience? Like, how do you, what's your, what's your, what's your main goal? How do you do it? Like what's your that's 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 a good question. Yeah. So you you said everything correctly. You know, we do have small attention span. So depending on what platform you're on, you have to target them a different way. Uh, You have to come up from the jump. The first three seconds needs to be so catchy that they continue listening after the three seconds. Right. Mm. Uh, Music. If it's if there's no music in the background, it's it's boring. Okay. It, it, I don't know. You could play classical music in the background. Yeah. It's still <laughs> and I a noticed lot that more hype than just a, a audio clip with no music in the background. I, it's something about our brains, right? Yes. So you have to do that. Uh, omnipresence is my big thing, man. Like I need to be everywhere, especially with me. So there's a. I talked about going to a blue pool, right? The issue with my blue pool is nobody understands it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now I have to do so much value-based content to where people even un- know what the heck I'm talking about, mm-hmm. which is good. I mean, it's cool because I get to be that like that front runner to really push this stuff out there. But uh, that's all I do, man. And then we do live in an age to you know to my surprise that a lot of people are trying to learn these days. Okay. Like a lot of there's a lot more entrepreneurs. I don't know what happened, but people are just fed up now. Man. Yeah, people are <laughs> They're tired. Really of it. fed up. Like I see way more entrepreneurs than i was seeing a few years a mm-hmm. few years back so just value 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 um hype relationship building that's the real key yeah. you know relationship building man that, that's that's what it's all about like i just need i i stopped like even really focusing on um yeah we do organic but like this is what i'm what i'm doing right now is what i need to be doing just the right, connecting right. with other people who have audiences man opm mm-hmm. real estate we say no, in real estate, we say OPM, other people's money. And in, in marketing, we say OPA, other people's audiences. Mm. Oh, okay. So that's, yeah, the key. That's, I, that's the key. I didn't know that. That was good. Yeah. Mm. I like that's that. That's gems. He's dropping gems, He's dropping guys. Y'all, gems, be, guys. y'all better be paying attention. Y- y'all better pay attention, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got to say, man. Nah, man. I, I love I love having guests on the show, man. Especially people that know what the fuck they're talking about. And, uh, <laughs> He's bringing you it know, <laughs> again, you know what I mean? We also, this is like our fourth vet. On, yeah, on our show, yeah. I think okay. mm-hmm. this is like our fourth vet, so I, I think we're just attracting all the vets, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. It means a lot to me, bro. It really does. Um, and we're from the same city, man. We're from right. Deltona, Florida, guys. Well, I'm from Deltona. I don't know about yeah, you, New Orleans. New Orleans, right? But right. We, we're all from the same city, so we're all about helping each other out. And we have to start here. We have mm-hmm. to start here in Deltona. Yeah, we got to start locally, man. We got to sure. start home. And more importantly, you just gotta start. Yeah, and you gotta start. start. That's the you gotta yeah. start, man. Look, if, y'all, if you need some mentorship, you're watching this podcast right now, go to my IG at Tax Deed Wolf. DM me. Just DM me. Mentor. We're gonna put his link in the mentor. description mentor, for sure. Say mentor, say tax deed. Like you you wanna start buying property. And that's the thing. 
it's not just about property, man. Mm-hmm. Like people always want to just, what's the next get rich quick? How do we do right. it? So now yeah. everybody's in the MLM, you know, trying to get this money forex, what credit repair, whatever it is. And I, I did it too. Like, you know, <laughs> man, I was. We, I think everybody has, should at least try it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Get the experience of what it's like to network with people. Right. But we teach more than just how to buy property because it, there's more to it. You know, we how do we show people what the rich are doing? Not just by flipping tax deeds. You know what I mean? It starts with proper business structure. It starts with asset protection, mm. personal credit, business credit. Um, you know, how to take a credit card and turn that into cash to then use that cash to go buy some tax deeds, right? How to get other access to lines of credit. I have a corporate line of credit right now. Mm. It's not even a credit card. I just log into my account and put in there, I want $20,000. They send that right to my bank account. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? That's that's yeah. next level stuff. Use other right. people's money. Do a quick flip, real quick. I could take forty thousand dollars and turn that into eighty, and then just pay off that that loan that I just took out. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. That's, exactly. That, I just made forty thousand dollars. I mean, right. That's what banks do. You give your money to the bank. They're gonna just make more money with your money and then give you mm-hmm. like two cents. Yeah, you give your money to the bank <laughs> yeah. and they oh, loan yeah. your money yeah. to somebody, so somebody else. else to make more money. <laughs> That's yeah. why I told them like, look, you're giving your money to the bank and you're, the bank's giving their, the money to me. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fact. No real talk. When you um, real talk. When you buy a property, I've seen that like you have to have somebody inspect the whole property before mm-hmm. you purchase it. Like, what's the process with that? How long does that take? So, so it really just depends. Um, that's my wife calling. <laughs> <laughs> so it really just depends on the type of property. So if we're going like single family home, you have your traditional, okay, get under contract, purchase and sale agreement. You have an inspection period, whether it's seven days, 10 days, whatever. I have an inspector that I deploy with actually, uh, GoPro home inspections. They mm. come out, look at the property. Now, depending on what you find in that inspection, now you got you know terms to negotiate on uh, offer price or, or whatever, or ask for a seller credit, stuff like that. That's something a lot of people don't know about. Seller credits, like, hey, you don't have to drop the price, but on closing, give me back twenty thousand dollars so I can fix this, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's something a lot of people really don't know about. But uh, that's how our inspection period works. Now, sometimes, like with these tax deeds, we we don't have an inspection. We, mm. it's, it's due diligence is on us. So now we're on, you know, doing our due diligence process, freaking off. There's any liens on it? Yeah. Is it a good property? Is the property even there? Because you're really buying the deed. The deed only shows ownership of the land. Right, uh, the you can show titles, up and the house is half burnt. Right, <laughs> titles, titles show ownership of man-made structures, cars, mm-hmm. boats, houses. So there's just a whole lot of stuff, and this is where the mentorship is really key. People are in my DMs like, "Hey, can you look at this? You know, how much did you get it for? Twenty thousand dollars?" And I'm like, "Hey, this is probably worth five thousand. You know, you over. Why didn't right. you get the? Why did you buy the program? Oh, it was too much money. It's like so you made a fifteen thousand dollar <laughs> mistake, but twenty five hundred bucks to join our." Program was too much money. Yeah. Right. What? Right. And that's yeah. the thing, man. Yeah. People will spend three, four times what they need to spend trying to be cheap. <laughs> yeah. It happens all the all time. All the time. You all get the, the time. car, you get the used car, and then it's always in the shop now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Versus just getting the new car and have a you know four hundred dollar a month car note. I had exactly. to replace the starter. They were like, Hey, you want a used one? At first, my cheap ass was like, <laughs> <laughs> Why not? not fifty dollars off. <laughs> it was like fifty dollars off. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just get it brand new. That's what I'm going to do. So I replaced it. You know what I mean? Put it in brand new. I was like, I don't have to deal with this shit forever. Yeah, I'm nah, You, you got to invest in yourself, man. Yeah. But something, you know, something I wanted to talk about when it comes to businesses, you know, everybody, you know, everybody does the numbers and this and that. But from your experience, like, how do you, how does like your morals and principles need to be set up to do good business? Like, is that something that comes into play? Integrity. Oh, yeah, man, for for sure, because relationship building is key. You got to build rapport, uh, you know, with our syndication. So we got like the 17 unit apartment complex that we're under contract for in Daytona. You're not people just aren't going to give you money. Right. Like, hey, we need to raise. We need uh, one point seven million for this property. Like nobody. people. Mm. Oh, hey, you, here. Here you go. Right. You know, you, you have to build rapport with people. They have to know who you are. Something that helps us out is because I do have this social media presence. Like you said, you see my family and stuff. By the time I talk to people, one, they're so excited to talk to me. Like, oh my God, you're actually talking to me? Yeah. Like, Look, I ain't that famous yet. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. going to get there, though. <laughs> nah, it's going to get there. there. You're going to get there, bro. <laughs> it's going to get there. But then uh, they, they feel like they know me. They feel like they can mm-hmm. trust me. Like, holy mm-hmm. crap, I'm in my kid's life. 
I didn't have to really do anything better than anybody. I just had to be a dad. That's right. I mean, that's that's it. I just had to be there, and automatically that just in, in, in America at least that just shows so much character. It shows respect. You take care of your kids because so many people before us don't. The precedent don't. is just so yeah. bad. You yeah. Know? yeah. So all you have to do is show up. Wait, he's having right. family time. What? Is <laughs> you do like, show what? <laughs> what? I didn't have that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no, it's true man. though. No, but it's it's it's, it's uh, official. You can't do sketchy stuff. And one thing we do, we qualify our students like all mm. money ain't good money Facts. You know, if Facts. you're gonna be somebody that's a problem you're gonna be asking for your money back because you didn't get out there and do the work that we taught you this ain't we're not just putting properties on your lap like mm -hmm. we're showing you how to do it but you gotta go do it yeah, you, you gotta, gotta work. Put, you yeah. got a cold call you gotta do all this extra and, and yeah. we don't even we're not even that bad we don't even like we don't do all that cold call right, stuff. Like, right. We're not salesmen. We have a system that we show you how to get on the website and just find the properties. Mm. Yeah, that's like so you that's, praying that's and not beautiful. putting in the work behind it. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? That, that's beautiful, man. I'm so, man, like I said, I'm so happy you came through and, you know, you dropped gems with us, bro, because we needed it. Like, I feel like this is a pivotal moment in time, especially for, like, the youth, bro. There's so many, like, there's so many younger guys that watch our show and they look up, you know, they look up to us and, I feel like it's important to to show them like you don't got to sell drugs. You don't have to, you know, do anything illegal. Just study a little bit, you know what I'm saying? C you know, yeah. stay committed for a certain amount of time and and it's all possible, man. It's all possible for sure. And invest, man. You got to you got to pay to play with. Yeah. Everybody yes. wants that free. That's just saying right That's there. A, bro, you know what's he crazy? Learned a lesson. I learned that shit the first time I went to go get new tires on the Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he brought out the ticket, bro, and I'm like no, that's not my car, bro. He's like, no, 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 that's you. I was like, for real? He's like, yeah, bro, 800 on just tires. Yeah. And I was just like, fuck, and that's exactly what you say. He's like, hey, you got to pay to play. That's true. You, got, you want a nice car, bro, you gonna you got to pay to play, bro. Especially with that mentorship. Like, I got students doing $50,000 flips, $70,000 mm -hmm. flips, getting access to 50K, 100K in business credit. Was the $2,000 worth it? Come yeah, for come sure. On. Come, come on. <laughs> and, that's, they, and they still get more. Every Wednesday, we're teaching. Every Wednesday, I get guest speakers come in and talk about other topics. You know what mm. I mean? Like, we're really taking over this thing, man, and, and just giving so much value. Uh, if you check out my social media, there's value on that. That's mm -hmm. free. My YouTube, value on that. Like, you got to give. I'm, I'm giving so much value for yeah. free. Yeah. Can yeah. you imagine what's in the course? Like, right. <laughs> that's an actual right. course what's itself. In the course? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, dude. It, you're, doing it, you're doing it the right way, man, and um, it's definitely commendable. We salute you, bro. And... Uh, for sure, man, we we definitely need to have you back on the show, you know, go more into depth and really get into numbers and stuff like that. But we definitely appreciate you coming through, bro. Anytime, you know, you anytime. showed up, you, you showed up on time. You, you know showed up on two time, episodes man. with us, bro. You showed up First early, person actually. ever, dog. You showed up like 15 it. minutes early and shit. Professional. I love it. You know, I love that's it. That's good, bro. That's respect, man. So, um, yeah, bro, we appreciate you. For sure. For sure. And uh, we need you back, bro. ASAP. Facts. ASAP. Get it. But yeah, man, we've been back with another one. We appreciate every single last one of you that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for checking us out once again. And thank you, bro, for coming through once again, man. We appreciate you. Tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Man, that sounds good on those headphones, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a completely different story.